20 minutes after 11, it's Morning Becomes Eclectic at 89.9 KCRW. And Grantley Phillips has a new record out. It's called Mobilize. And I'm very happy to welcome back to the studios this morning, Grant, with the band. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Nice I, to be here. I guess we'll come back and talk a little bit about the record uh, in a moment and what's been going on. I'm trying to remember the last time you were here. It was about a year or so ago, I guess. Could have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah something like that. Since then, you've made the record. It's out. You're touring. We'll come back and talk about it. But right now, why don't you just uh, do your thing? It's Grantley Phillips on Morning Becomes Eclectic. Will do. This is called See America.
see America. Why don't you? <laughs> Why not now more than ever? Here's a song called Love's a Mystery featuring the one and only Phil Parlapiano. I'm thinking of playing a song. A song about us all, us human folks, us human beings. A song for the human beings. This is called Humankind. And the point of my life is what? What if 
Morning Becomes Eclectic at 89.9 KCRW and a set of music from Grantley Phillips this morning. And uh, maybe I could get you to introduce the band before we go any further. Uh, I'd love yeah, to. Let's do that. Um, over here on the piano, <laughs> over here, uh, there's Phil Parla Piano. Imagine him with Buller ablazing. He's playing piano and, and, and stringy things. The, uh, the gorgeous voice you hear in the background over there, that's Bill Bonk on bass and mandolin. And uh, Kevin Jarvis is playing some wild wild drums this morning <laughs> <laughs> welcome everybody um we're going to talk about the new album and i was just looking back actually before we started the the first set of music uh, -huh. uh at the last time you were here it was actually january of, of last year right. and then the time before that i guess was on the last grantley buffalo record which was around about three years ago wow and yeah time flies didn't <laughs> it? i know i was frozen for a while well, let's talk a little bit about what's been going on in the last three years. Obviously, uh, you've moved from uh, the band thing into a, a solo career, and we were talking before uh, before you even uh, sound checked this morning about the fact that you know things have downsized a little bit. It's it's more you now, as as opposed to the band thing and the big record label thing. Tell us about what's what's been going on, because I know when you were here last time, you'd been demoing some songs and you just right. recorded a whole bunch of acoustic stuff. What's happened in the last year and a half or so? All sorts of things, you know. I uh, sort of got accustomed to the, uh, the the climate of constant change, you know, like <laughs> uh, at at every turn. I suppose um, at the at the end of the day, it's it's really um, the writing that that sort of you know shows me the way. And uh, because I've always sort of placed uh, that at the, at the, at the at the center of what I do, it uh, it takes me into various terrains at times, you know, be it uh, working with a band or working entirely on my own. Or with uh, any number of uh, you know different different folks, um, we do have some history between myself, uh, Bill, and Phil. Uh, both of these fellows actually toured with Grantley Buffalo, um, sort of during the Jubilee period, I guess. Which was the the last exactly full record, yeah. right? Yeah, but basically it's a case of just sort of remaining on track, and I, I tend to look at all of this as just another step, another evolution. Well, talking of e evolution, then I mean, obviously 
you're a musician who has a career. I mm-hmm. mean, you, you, you make a living. The last I checked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should put in a call, though, just to make sure. Yeah, make sure. <laughs> well, listen, I think if you've got a website, you've got a, you've got a career. Uh, but maybe not. Is that know. all it takes? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I think walnuts have a website. And they're doing quite well, though, actually. I think they're out right now, walnuts. touring across the country, opening up for somebody. <laughs> but, you know, I, I guess what I'm trying to get to is that, you know, this is how you make your living. And, and um, you're a working musician who, who makes records, writes songs, and, and goes out and does this. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering what the adjustment is for you from going from uh, being in a band with a record deal, with, you know, tour support and all that kind of stuff, maybe, uh, to, uh-huh. to actually being being somebody who's like sort of stripped back down now to, obviously you've got these guys working with you and you're, you're sure. touring again, but is it a whole different thing? And, and what does, you know, what do you have to go through to, to evolve, you know, as Grant in, in, right. in the process of that? Well, I mean, that's a that's a great question. I'm, I found myself about a year ago um, recording uh, the album that I, that I came and shared, in, shared, shared with you, maybe, I don't know, almost a year ago, um, Ladies Love Oracle. That was that was kind of an acoustic album, and it was available from the website. If I yeah, specifically yeah. from GrantleyPhillips.com, right. and and then uh, I would also take it on the road with me. But in many ways, it was like I was going entirely back to the drawing board, and I tend to find that's I I kind of like it there, the drawing board. I like what you know, what might happen there. Well, and w- what is that place to you? I think it's just it's now and then I have to find myself. Uh, uh, sitting down with the guitar or the piano, and 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 it's very easy for me to kind of disappear and slip into the scenery, in the case of, of a group, you know. And in that way, I might not not necessarily be offering all that. I might not be, you know, holding my own in that way. So thrusting myself into that place where <laughs> I was entirely accountable, you know, although with greater freedom, you know, uh, was really important for me to go out on the road, just me and my guitar, and then come back around to the idea of making an album, you know, with uh, with other instrumentation and then a band tour. So, so once you'd done that, I think if I remember rightly, it is a while back. You told me that you'd pretty much recorded all those songs on that CD that's available. Is it still available from the website? By the yeah, way? it is yeah. actually, and at the shows too. And you, I think you told me at the time that you'd recorded that in a, in a very quick period of yeah, time. Yeah, like like three days, you right. know. And um, my my dear friend John Bryan basically said, "Here's the keys to the studio. Go at it. You know, right. do what you will." And uh, and uh, lo and behold, I walked out with an album under my arm. And, so, so once you'd done that and you'd gone out and toured it solo, right. you came back and said, "Okay, now I'm ready to do a, an album with with other musicians and, and go back out again." Not entirely. Uh, um, what had happened over the course of the, of the year was that I wound up experimenting quite a bit with some new toys, you know, some uh, a digital recorder and some keyboards. And lo and behold, mobilizes basically, you know, myself uh, and uh, and Carmen Rizzo uh, produced this album with me. Uh, he engineered it, brought a lot of programming elements to it. Uh, but essentially, I played all those instruments on Mobilize, and uh, I'm fortunate that the folks like Bill and Phil, uh, Kevin, can basically take those parts and kind of make them their own. Um, but you know, being very true to the spirit of the record. So recording the record on your own, but then uh, bringing the musicians out uh, and and going out and touring it. How does it feel to be back out there with a band then? Well, I have to say, probably I, I tend to appreciate it more these days. You know, uh, and perhaps that that comes from sort of like rolling around in the dust for a while, you know, um, and also the fact that you know you when, when you have that sort of immediate give and take when you've sold the record yourself, you know, through your website or on the edge of the stage, then you have a deeper sense of victory. It's so much more uh, tangible, you know. It all it all starts to make a little more sense than it ever ever did. And I'm guessing tying that back to as the word you used yourself a little bit earlier on about evolving as a musician and and as a as a guy. Right, that's true, because it's really because it all really goes hand in hand, you know, your life experience and and, and the songs. Um, um, you can't have one without the other, I guess. That's a cue for a song if ever I heard one. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, here's a little ditty <laughs> that I wrote about chili beans. Uh, the new album, you said, it's out on Zoe Records, right? Zoe through Rounder, right? And uh, you just did a tour, talking about seeing America. You just did a little tour. Yeah, that's right. We've been out. It seems like for years, but it's actually only been like a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you were telling me that you're off to Europe to do some stuff as well. That's right. Well, um, it's been a while since I made it over to Europe, and so we're, we're going to do uh, a show or two. It sounds like a show or two ac- actually in London. So that would be nice to kind of get back and say, hey, remember me. So the, the reaction has been good to this record so far. I know that AAA Radio is playing it. I know that we've been playing it, and a lot of people dig in the songs that we've been playing. How are you feeling now that the record's out there? Oh, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, I'm 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 overwhelmed and, and very very pleased with 
the kind of response that uh, you know that I've, I've witnessed to it. Mm-hmm. There's no way of knowing because I really set out to make a record that was quite different than than one would associate with Brantley Buffalo. Mm-hmm. And and although there's you know something that makes me charge towards that goal, it's also a little scary. You know, I get I get a few night sweats now and then during the. <laughs> is that because you feel the, the the weight is on your shoulders and you're responsible? You're talking about accountability. It's like you're accountable now to yourself. Yeah, I suppose I guess. that's 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 a big part of it. And also the fact that you know it, it does it feels a little different to me. You know. I don't know. There's a familiar spirit that runs through all of these songs, I believe, but uh, but um, you know, it, it's it's almost a different medium in some in some ways. Uh, um, you know, it, it, there's a, there's a digital kind of essence as well. It's an odd thing. You were telling me before uh, again before you were sound checking that I think you got a date up in San Francisco. Yeah, soon? actually, we, we hop on a plane. That's and, uh, tonight. That's this evening. Yeah, because yeah, there's a lot of strangely enough, there's a lot of people listening to this show online in San Francisco. So let's uh, let's tell people where it is tonight. We are at Bimbo's this evening. Great place. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, <laughs> it's been around forever. And uh, come early. Uh, I believe like uh, doors open probably, I'd say seven. All right. I'm going to say seven. And come early and see David Lovering, scientific phenomenalist extraordinaire. Listen, I'm going to let you get back to the other set of music. We'll come back and wrap things up. We're also going to give away some copies of the, the new CD as well. But right, right now, back to Grant with the guys on Morning Becomes Eclectic. Never 
one just to recoil For you bring my blood to the boil Nobody like love will make you feel so sane Nobody like love will make you feel so Here's a song. I dedicate this. This is dedicated. To all Chicagoans, especially my wife, Denise. Give you this one for all you beautiful dreamers.
Morning becomes eclectic at 89.9 KCRW and another set of music from Grantley Phillips with the band this morning. And, uh, you know, we could probably squeeze another one in if you want to do one. I know I've got a list here that has another couple of songs written on the bottom. I don't know if you're thinking that maybe you might we, want to do another one. But yeah, we have, um, we have one. Uh, it's, a, it's a very squeezable number. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this, um, this kind of goes, goes back to uh, the album that we were speaking of earlier. This is off Ladies Love Oracle. And uh, again, available at the website grantleyphillips.com, and no doubt you'll wind up like bumping into myself or Bill Bonk one of these days <laughs> at a website near you. This is called Your Pony. Your pony, that's okay. I don't need to see you tied up to a kitchen. That would only break you The light was in onto our skin We have to begin
Becomes eclectic, just about wrapping things up here this morning. Grant Lee Phillips, uh, the new album is called Mobilize, and uh, I want to thank you for coming in and bringing the guys in with you. I know you're going to be on an airplane very shortly, so so thanks, guys. Thank you so much, and thank heavens for KCRW. Okay, <laughs> I, I agree, I agree, and, I agree, and good luck with the record. And uh, is there some more dates in town later on this year? Are you going to be back in doing some stuff? I know you were at the Troubadour last night. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of planning to scoot into my uh, my favorite place, Largo, when I'm uh, when I'm back in town. All right, maybe yeah. we'll see you down there. I hope so. Okay, mate. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay.